Some noise for Ethan Stanislavski, everybody! Thank you all. Hello, Los Angeles. North Hollywood. It's all good. Uh, I'm going back home a little in a little bit. I'm from New York, but most of my family's from Boston. And uh, here's a fun thing. Uh, so the word queer is the correct term for that concept, right? Like however you define that concept. The word queer is generally a good word to use, unless it's said in a Boston accent, because at that point it takes a turn. Like, queer? Ugh, I don't like how that sounds coming like out of my mouth. It could be the most progressive thing ever. It could be like, I happen to teach a seminar on queer studies at Smith College. No, you don't. <laughs> you did not do that. Queer is the only word where the hard R is the less offensive version. At that point, you're okay. Um, let's let's talk about the police. Why not? Let's talk about the police. It's Saturday night in North Hollywood. Let's talk about the police. Uh, I don't know. Everyone has different opinions on the state of the police in this country. One thing I think we can all agree on is when an officer dies in the line of duty, it's a sad, horrible tragedy. I think we can all agree on that, right? Like it's a sad thing. Cop in a tough position gets killed. It's awful. On the other hand. <laughs> If you're a bagpipe player, you've got a gig in a couple days, so... <laughs> so that's something. <laughs> like, how many gigs do you get in general as a bagpipe player? Usually dead cops. Usually, for a cop, uh, a bagpipe player to feed his family, a cop has to die. I'm just saying, there's a silver lining in everything. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of opinions out there. Here's one I don't like, and I think it usually comes from a well-meaning place, but you've heard, you've heard this all, right? Like the bad apples thing with cops. You know, it's just a few bad apples. Cops have a tough time, they're doing the best they can. You've got to root out these bad apples and we'll be fine. And I don't think that's a good argument. You know why? Because no apple has ever looked at another apple and gone, let's get our story straight. That's never happened. <laughs> There's no blueberry code of silence out there. No one's ever planted a seed on a grape after the fact, you know? Hey, you see what they did to that orange? They beat it to a pulp. Uh, that's my attempt to write a socially conscious joke that could also work on a popsicle stick. And uh, I think I succeeded. I think I succeeded. Uh, I am a Jewish person. I don't know if you can tell by my everything, but... Uh, I look like this. I've been in LA 10 years. I've not been in a Judd Apatow movie yet. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> That's on me. But here's a question I've been asked my whole life, and it's a weird one. People ask me, Ethan, are Jews white people? Do Jews count as white people? And that's a weird question, because first off, the white ones are. That's the real answer. <laughs> there are such a thing as non-white Jews. Sometimes even other Jews don't know that. That's weird. Uh, but every time I've asked this, Ethan, are Jews white people? Do Jews count as white people? My first thought is, well, we did kind of take a piece of land that wasn't ours and call it our own. That's a pretty white people move. Right there. <laughs> That's like the white person move. It's like ours now. That's like what white people do. Hey, you know who doesn't like that joke? Old Jews found that out the hard way. Um, that was a rough show. Uh, but it's weird though, overall, because Jews generally are like, everything else but Israel, they're very, generally liberal people. Like they vote overwhelmingly democratic, they were first of all in civil rights, first of all in gay rights. Generally very progressive liberal people. But then you ask them, hey, what do you think about Palestinians? They go, fuck them, burn their children and put them in a salad. And it's like, where the fuck did that come from? But they don't say it like that, though. They say it like a Jewy way. Like, have you ever heard of racism in a stereotypical Jewish accent? I have. It's weird. It's like, oi, 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 these people gotta go. That doesn't track. That makes no sense. Um, uh, I, I, you know, I... Based on my act, I think you know where I stand. On the, I'm pretty on the lefty end of things, but I have friends who are like, basically full-blown anarchists, and they'll say shit to me that even I'm like, pull it back a little, just like Jesus. Like I have friends who will say things like this. They'll say, government belongs to the people. Government should be in the hands of the people. No, it shouldn't. Have you met people? <laughs> They're fucking terrible. Like. Give me an example. A few years ago, I was at the San Diego County Fair on July 4th. I don't mean to brag, but uh, 
I saw this guy there. I saw 100% this is what this guy was. He had an Uncle Sam hat on, a Stars and Stripes shirt, red striped pants, and he was holding a giant ass turkey leg. Like, this man was America, like, in, in a nutshell. Um, at, at one point, he spills the turkey on his shirt. So he takes the Stars part of his shirt and wipes the juices on the striped side. And I'm just looking at this guy going, what is Colin Kaepernick doing without a job? When this guy's fucking doing, like, government belongs in the hands of the people. Like, I was at a shitty bar once, this guy asked me to do coke off the toilet seat with him. And I said no, for several reasons. But the main one was, this was such a shitty bar, it didn't even have like a toilet seat cover. So he was doing coke off the toilet seat itself. Like where asses go, like that part of the toilet seat. And he, yeah, exactly, it gets worse. Uh, he got so fucked up, he accidentally knocked some of the coke into the toilet. So in a panic, he put his hand in the toilet and tried to save it. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't want to. I don't know what your drug experience is, but in case you know, that's not how cocaine works. <laughs> government belongs in the hands of the people. You want the government in charge of turkey shirt, American flag, napkin guy, and piss water cocaine guy? That's who you want running this? <laughs> Jesus. I want like a politician who's smarter than me, better than me, gives no, gets shit done, like gets the fucking agenda and knows how to do shit and. At the bare minimum, I want a politician whose most famous TV show is the news. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> That's all I want. Thank you guys so much. My name is Ian Finnis.